Welcome back to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. And this is video number six, so you know, right? If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, make sure you go back and watch all of those videos, okay? Because this will not make sense to you because I'm going on this process in order, okay? So what's gonna happen? So we have these two VLANs that we created, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, right? And these two computers belong on VLAN 10, that computer on top belongs on VLAN 20. Now the CEO came in and he was like, hey Jorge, you know, I know what I told you a few days ago, but now we decided that yes, we want those two uh, VLANs, those two computers from the HR department and the IT engineers to be able to communicate with each other, okay? But just make sure you have uh, the VLANs in place because our company is growing, so I wanna make sure we have a good design and all the good stuff, okay? So now we have to go through the process and making sure that those two computers are able to communicate with each other because so far, right, on the previous video, we test, like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can ping that computer, right? So I'm pinging that computer 150 and I'm getting that request time out. So that's not good at all, okay? So let me get out of here. Now, this is where we're gonna go now, okay? and this router. So basically what we need to do is to enable router on the stick and that's basically creating some sub interfaces like virtual interfaces because we only have one, okay? We only have one from the switch to the router. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the router thing that we have a few physical connections but we only have one and that's by us creating sub interfaces, okay? So let me log in to that router and once again, this router um, has nothing configured so far. So let me change the name as well, okay? This is ISP. ISP, probably a lot of you know, that's the internet service provider. That router that um, the internet service provider give you, provides to you, like AT&T, Comcast, or you know, many other ISP providers out there. So let me do enable, config T, host name, and I'm gonna do ISP2. That's it, the name change. So now, okay, as you can see, the port right here, and I told you the routers, they don't work. You have to configure, enable, you know, what you want it to do on that router. So first, I wanna make sure that that port, it's enabled, because right now it's off. And how I know that? Because I'm gonna do this command. Let me show you. Do show IP interface brief. This is a really good command that you can get a lot of good info at front. And that will tell me all of the ports that I have, okay, on this router. And you see everything seems that it's down, okay? And I have no idea where I connected this port, so let me just make sure, plug it in, and I'm gonna connect it to gigabit 00, so that I know, okay? So that's basically where we need to go, and this port, and gigabit 00, as you can see, you know, it's down, okay? So let me uh, turn it on. And for you to do that, you have to do this. Interface, gigabit 01, and do that no shutdown command. And boom, you see, it went up, okay? So, now if I go here, do show IP interface, brief. You see, now I have that up. Where are you? Well, it's still down, down, okay? And that's fine because we need to assign an IP address, that's what's going on too. And by the way, no, you know what? It's, I configure this one instead of the zero, zero. So that was my mistake, okay? So let me do that. Uh, let me exit out and let me do interface, gigabit zero, zero, no shutdown. Okay, so there we go. So now we have this green going on on the router. So we were, it, that was my mistake. I um, enabled the port uh, zero one instead of that zero zero. Okay, so now it's, I mean, you can see it's up. Now let's go to the process and configuring that port with sub interfaces. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out and I'm gonna do interface gigabit zero zero that and I'm gonna put that 10. It can be any number, but for us, so it can make sense to us. That 10, that's because it's VLAN 10, the, the one that we wanna create, a sub interface. You create a sub interface by doing that, that and the number, okay? Enter, 
and bam, we have something going on. That port, that virtual sub interface port, it's up. So now, as you can see right here, it went to global configuration interface mode to global configuration sub interface. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, let's see, two, 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 two. encapsulation, question mark, because I don't remember, and that's one of the protocols, and that's that one Q. And then I'm gonna do question mark, and it's basically asking me, okay, you wanna do encapsulation between you, port, to that switch. Um, but for what VLAN? Oh, for VLAN 10, got it, okay. Now, right here, it's when we need to put the IP address, okay, and that's basically the gateway for that network. That's the gateway for that network, okay? So in this case, we're gonna use the first available IP address out of that network, and that's 192.168.1.1. Remember, our network ID is zero? Well, we're gonna use the first available. Now I have to put the subnet mask, and that's 255.255.255.128, enter. And I can do that no shutdown, but I mean, I don't have to because the port, it went already up, okay? But it's not gonna hurt. Now I'm gonna exit out and I'm gonna do the same. You know, I'm gonna do interface gigabit zero zero that, so I can create a sub interface. So now I'm gonna go through the same process, but in this case, I'm gonna do that 20. So I'm gonna do 20. So it went up. So now I'm gonna do encapsulation. I'm gonna use that protocol and I'm gonna choose the VLAN that I want to encapsulate between the router, the sub-interface uh, port of the router to the switch. So that's VLAN 20, and then what I'm gonna do is assign the uh, gateway, you know, the IP address for that network, so that's basically the IP address. And we're gonna use the same, the first available IP address of that network. And that's 192, 168, that one, and remember, this is the network ID. So the first available is the 129. And that's it, okay? I'm gonna do the summon mask and enter. And I can do the no shed, but I don't have to because I know the port already went up. Enter, and that's it, I'm gonna exit out. I'm gonna make sure to save it, so boom, save. Okay, so we are good to go, okay? So now, up to this point, we have this interface and there's still a few things that we have to do. And this is where I'm gonna stop the video because I need you to go through this process, okay? So, so far, we enabled a port from the router to the switch. And we created two virtual or two sub interfaces for each of those VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now, that's something that it's missing. Maybe a few things, maybe one thing. And I need you to analyze. I know some of you, you're like, hey, Jorge, I know what's missing, you have to go back and do this, so let me check, okay? Because I have the same lab in front of me. So, oh, yes, you know, we, uh, we have to go and do this configuration or whatever, okay? I need you to go through the process and analyze. Don't jump to video number seven being like, okay, what's next? No, think, analyze, it's not gonna take, it's not going to take more than five minutes for you to go through the process. And it can make a huge difference for you to really get this info, okay? So. I know for sure that they're not gonna be able to communicate up to this point because there's still a few things. So think about it, you know. Um, if you wanna Google it as well, that's fine with me. So that's it. I'm gonna talk to you on video number seven so I can walk you through now and make sure that those computers are able to communicate.